Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am excited to show you how you can build your own knowledge graph starting from scratch. So we will take a text document and we will build knowledge graph step by step. Let's try to understand all the details in this video with code and end to end demo. So guys, here I have a project and I'm going to show you what we will be going to build today. So I'm running an streamlit app as you can see and uh, you will see a web page opening in this web page what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some input and create a knowledge graph so first of all i'm just switching off this huge sample text otherwise it will use a sample text i've given in my code and i will paste something here for example i'm pasting a, a text here sara founded techflow a machine learning startup and hired maria as head of sales Techflow partnered with Venture Capital Partners. Before that, Maria worked at Microsoft, joined joined as CTO and led the plot platform team. And let me say, extract knowledge graph. So what is happening in background when I'm clicking this is, GPT-4.0 mini model is getting used. And now you can see a knowledge graph in front of you. So let me zoom it a bit for you and show you how it is looking like. So as you can see, Sara is connected to Techflow through Founded. Sara is connected to Maria through Hired. Uh, Venture Capital Partners is connected to Techflow partnered with. Maria is connected with Microsoft worked at. And on the bottom, John led to and John joined as. These two are not, there are not more entities here, but there is a relationship. So what is happening here? John joined as CTO and led the platform team basically. So John led, here it should be platform team and here it should be joined as CTO but those are not showing. So it's not like every every entity will show but just to give you a you know understanding of how it is. And I'm extracting the uh, entities, I'm extracting the relationships, everything through large language models. So I'm going to show you now how it works. But uh, just have an initial idea that this is how knowledge graphs will look like and I'm going to show you some more things before I go to code. So let's go to this node explorer and I can pick an entity here. What I can do, I can pick an entity and for example, if I pick the entity called Sara, then what will happen is it will show me Sara's relationship. For example, Sara is related to Maria and Techflow and as you can see, Sara founded Techflow and Sara hired Maria. So Sara related um, relationship. If I choose Maria, Maria worked at Microsoft, Maria, uh, Sara hired Maria. So this kind of relationship. So this is basically we can explore some nodes. And let's go to the next tab. And here you can see use case prove value. So what I have done is I have refined my script through some AI tools and I'm trying to show you uh, what all can happen in the knowledge graphs. Okay. So first of all, let me go here and click Sara. And here if I say tech flow, right? And I say find path, it will give me the path. This is first thing. Then second thing is here you can see top influential entities. So about entities and about relationships, I was telling you in my last video, right? So let me try to show you that also. So let me go to UFDS unfold data science. And in last video, I explained you very nicely. Uh, in, in this graph rag for beginners, right? In this video, I explained you what is the meaning of entity relationships with a diabetes insulin example. So you can watch this video to understand that. But basically, entity is like name of the person, name of the place, name of the designation, etc. And then there will be relationships. So you can see that. So here, top influential entities. So Sara, Techflow. Sara is at two places. So two, Maria, two places, John, two places, Venture Capital, one place like that. Then by page rank, so where and all they are occurring. And then suggested missing link is there. Suggested missing link means here there, there, there should be one link, but that is missing. And CTO platform team, one link should be there that is missing. So basically I'm trying to say more common neighbors likely missing link. So just a, you know, one more level of um, analysis of this graph, knowledge graph basically. And then obviously all these things are coming from a raw data, right? So where is that raw data? That raw data is here. So as I was telling you, nodes. Nodes means nothing but entities. Sara's 
Tickflo, Maria, Venture Capital, Microsoft, John. These are nodes. Then there are ages. So relationship is founded, relationship is hired, relationship is partnered with, relationship is worked at, relationship is joined as and led. So all these things LLM is able to give us this GPT-4 O mini model. I am going to show you the code now. But first get an understanding of how these things are, you know, what is the use of that and how that is working. So you have these many nodes, these many ages, density means in every node, uh, how many relationships basically, that is the density. And uh, this this is raw data, this is what you can see. And let's go ahead and um, I will just show you how it behaves differently if I paste a different uh, um, example text, right? So I will put something related to history World War II here. World War II began when Germany invaded Poland. Uh, Adolf Hitler led Nazi Germany while Winston, Winston Churchill became Prime Minister of Britain. The United States entered the war after Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and Franklin D. Roosevelt as president. So here, uh, as you can see, some links are broken. I, I can obviously um, improve my prompt where I'm trying to extract these. But as you can see, Adolf Hitler led Germany. United States entered war. Germany began World War II. Germany invaded Poland. Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Okay. And all these things are making meaningful um, relationships here. So if I go to Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler is related to Nazi Germany. Adolf Hitler led Nazi Germany. If I go to proven value, here I can say Germany and related to World War II. So find path. Germany began World War II. Okay. And in raw data, these are the entities again. These are the edges and these are the relationships. I just want to make it very clear to you what is the meaning of knowledge graph. Okay. Think of knowledge graph as nodes, entities, edges and relationship. That's it. Now the thing is how would you create that and how would you store that in database? Two things here, right? So here we have created very nice and let me tell you a few uh, places where knowledge graphs are used first. So one is as I was showing you in this video graph rag for beginners, right? Generative AI applications or retrieval or rag applications or any kind of um, AI application where retrieving is important, right? We can use graph rag for fetching information. Where else in recommendation system we can use graph rag, where, uh, the knowledge graphs. Where else um, in some kind of compliance or in banking system, right? Compliance and fraud activities, we can, we can use knowledge graphs. We can use knowledge knowledge graphs in understanding semantic relationship between certain um, documents, certain text, etc. So it's not limited to generative AI or RAG only. Uh, we can use knowledge graphs in various context, right? So four things I am going to do here, as I told you. First, we will build a knowledge. Uh, we will extract the raw information using a large language model. Okay. Then we will build a knowledge graph then through the ui we will see the knowledge graph and then we will understand how it is working so how it is working i showed you now let me walk you through how i am creating the knowledge graph package import i am doing open ai key as i told you i'll be using open ai for extracting the knowledge this is for creating the graph okay so i need to say that uh, this is the age this is the relationship etc right so this package will help me in that plotly is for visualization of course you know that OpenAI, I am checking if it's available or not available. If it's not available, then it will fall into heuristic method. So I will show you that. Suppose you don't want to use OpenAI. What you can do is you can go for that heuristic approach. Then extraction. So nodes will be list of strings. Edges will be list of tuple of string, string, string. Makes sense, right? So whenever we are saying edge, there has to be a source. There has to be a relation. And there has to be a target. Nodes will be single, standalone, right? Edge means there will be a source, there will be a relation, there will be a target. That's how edge will be. Extraction logic is this. So I have knowingly given all these comments so that when you download, it's very easy for you. If you see this prompt, right? This is where I'm using uh, OpenAI model and extracting the things. You are an expert information extraction system. Given raw text, extract a knowledge graph as unique entity, directed relationship between entity, return a JSON object with keys. Okay, it will return a JSON like this. Fine. Only include entities. If you see, these are following the formats of what we give there. So 
nodes and edges the data type format only include the entities actually present or unambiguously implied okay so something which is with on which there is no doubt keep relation short like found it acquired at work set located so it need not be very complex relation so this is a simple prompt guys of course you can play with this prompt you can do many things but just to show you how system is working okay so in the ui right if i go and press press this button this raw data that you see here right this raw data will be fetched by using this prompt only okay now imagine once you have this raw data then you need to create your graph and to create your graph you need to say that here are my nodes here are my edges here are my relationships now go ahead and create a graph that's it okay the code might look long but that is what is happening here calling okay calling with that message basically try catch is there for exception and then i am trying to locate the json block in the content basically source relation target i am trying to get and edges i am going to get and then i am going to get the output which i will pass to the graph building package okay and then as i told you if you don't want to use your open ai key if you see i have used my open ai key here okay if you don't want to use your open ai key then you can fall to this heuristic approach so what it will do very lightweight heuristic executor if open ai is unavailable split sentence finds title case token such candidate entities build new relationship using verbs around found date acquired work set etc so basically a heuristic pattern matching you can say and if you see here right it is trying to find some pattern here also it will try to find find some pattern found date acquired work set leads partnered with located in all these things it will try to find and on based of that it will give you the um, edges and relationships okay and here also in the end you are going to get a kg extracts and list of no, uh, nodes and edges fine both the modes whether you use open ai you don't use open ai extract with open ai you will simply call your model and then comes graph utilities graph utility means building graph so this will return a network graph if available otherwise return adjacent dict so if you have this package simply it will give you a graph otherwise a dict so all these are basically if this is node then go and add that and if it is add edge add node you can see right so for everything n in nodes g add node a r b in edges add edges so basically creation of graph then graph statistics the graph statistics that you were able to see if you remember so here i was showing you some statistics right nodes edges densities right so those things we are we are getting from here node node edges densities and then create interactive graph so build plotly graph return none if it's not existing so basically we are we are creating this kind of graph right where we can take our cursor and see things so that is what is happening here okay all these are basically plotting thing so um nothing like uh, logic wise happening just the plotting thing okay then extract context insights so basically you need to have the con uh, inside con context also right so basically you want to see which is well connected which is isolated which is missing context and here we are defining what do you call that as a missing context what do you call that as an isolated so here if you see right n for n in nodes if deg of n is greater than 3 so basically we are taking here some count and we are seeing that okay if this is there we will call that missing context if this is there we will call call that isolated so those logics are here okay so if you remember right here we had some some things right missing suggested missing link okay so those things are there and then generate context summary turns insight into bullet points for ui display again rich clusters around this isolated so if if you give a larger text right then these things might show up and then sortest path etc it right, will show you when you when you basically do do that right so remember if we were choosing this and this how are two entities related find path right so that is what what will be happening and then centrality is nothing but centrality tell, tells you here that returns degree of dictionary and page rank dictionary or none so basically here if you go right here 
so these things page ranks etc some some data basically of your graph that is what this function will give you suggested links also will come and then this is a demo text and we are calling the main function here so you have like seven eight supporting functions which can which which is trying to give you all these functionalities basically so i tried to show you these functionalities of knowledge graph so i am trying to give you all these these are, these are totally optional so once you once you extract the graph from open ai and once you build your graph that's it those two are important things but i am trying to show you various things here hence i am giving you uh, many functions here right so that is your app.py and once your app.py is ready then simply streamlit.app will this is you know taking the inputs and showing you in the output basically it is supporting that app.py that is what this streamlit is doing and once this is done right what will happen is you can give here any text and it can give you the knowledge graph for that now as i was telling you knowledge graph can be used for multiple purposes i gave you some three four examples and i explained you knowledge graph in this one like what is the meaning of entity what is the meaning of relationship what is the meaning of um, edges etc so watch this video but knowledge graphs can be stored in something known as graph db so if you do this assignment right i am going in a stepwise manner if you do this then you will know that okay this is how knowledge graph looks like and this is how the relationships will be deduced but the thing is if you want to use it for practical purposes right you need to store it somewhere where you will store it that place is known as graph database okay that place is known as graph database you will go and store in graph database and graph database what it does graph database gives you scalability okay you will still need llm be be careful here you will need llm you will need supporting systems but you need one place where you can go and store that and use that for practical purposes or production grade applications and if you have heard of something known as neo 4j if you have heard something known as no, something known as aws neptune if i am not wrong neptune is a graph db so these are the graph databases where you can store this graph knowledge graphs and you can work with these that is the next step of our learning guys so last two two steps what i told you how knowledge graphs work in rag and how graph rags work today i told you step wise how you can build it using an llm and how you define and how you see various things how you understand how it is working right all the things you will understand from today's demo next what we are going to do is we are going to put a put take a database and put put our data there and work with that for that i will keep a target of 20 comments guys you have to comment me graph database tutorial and then i will create a graph database tutorial for you where you can learn end to end how graph db works okay meanwhile guys please don't forget to press the like button and give me a thumbs up if you're liking my content see you all next video wherever you are stay safe and take care